In this video, I'm going to show you how we build recording monitors in my lab. The purpose of a recording monitor is to have an apparatus where you can track the activity of flies using video recording reliably from experiment to experiment. A recording monitor consists mainly of four parts. The first component of a recording monitor is obviously the camera. This is the model we're currently adopting in the lab. It's a very inexpensive USB camera, which also got six infrared LEDs and therefore the ability to record images under infrared light conditions. Most cameras will come with an infrared filter in their optics, which will have to be removed otherwise. The second component of a recording monitor is an arena. The easiest way to obtain an arena is to print one using 3D printing technology. This is how the arena will look like if you print the file you can download from the Pizzolo website. This arena can host 32 flies. Each fly will have walk in their own groove. You can place food in the middle using a syringe and cotton on the extremities. Each groove will then be sealed and a single fly will be forced to move back and forth. You will have to slide the glass through so the flies cannot escape and the camera can look at flies from above. You can place flies inside the arena without recording to anesthesia if you use something like this, a glass which has been perforated so that you can actually pu push flies through using for instance a fly sucker. You just push flies through and slide, push and slide, push and slide. The third component of a recording monitor is the case. This is the case we use in my lab. It's simply a food grade container that can snap close like this. What you will have to do is place the arena on the leaf, punch a hole through the opposite side and then <coughs> allow the camera to look at the flies in this way. The case will have to be modified with proper lighting, which is the fourth component of the recording monitor. For visible lighting, we use LED like this one. This is a LED strips, it comes in meters and it's normally sold for fish tanks or aquariums. You can cut in small fragment of 5 cm <clears throat> and wire this inside so that flies will have proper illumination during the day. For infrared lights, we found the best conditions are achieved when lights come from below. So you need to modify the lid so that it will become a backlit apparatus. This is how the lid will look like after it's been modified to become a backlit device. Basically, you will have to place infrared LEDs in it, glue them together using some sealant, and then on the other side, cover everything with a, some clear plastic. You can diffuse light even better if you use self-adhesive plastic sheet like this one. You will also notice these two black strips. These are magnetic strips that we place at the same time on the arena and allow you to snap the arena in place reliably from experiment to experiment. It will also make things much more shake-proof when you do sleep deprivation. So finally, this is how the recording monitor will look like at the end of your work. The case has become has been cut through so that the camera can watch inside. The camera has been taped on this side so that it will never move. <coughs> Visible LEDs have been glued inside and they can be attached to a timer that can provide 12 hours of illumination and 12 hours of darkness. Um, if you want the, the, the recording monitor to be completely independent, you can also shield the walls using self-adhesive black sheet like this one. This will make the monitor completely um, independent when it comes to lighting. The lid of the container is now a backlit illumination apparatus. Um, the arena will snap in like this and all you have to do is then close the container, connect the camera to the computer and there you go.
And this is the final result.